All right, can you hear me okay? We are getting started. Hello, hello. Happy chest and back day. Can you see me okay? Hi, guys. Hello and welcome. My name is Sarah Placencia, and we are gonna be working at chest and back. So, if you're here, pop in the chat, say hello, and I think I can see the chat on my phone. So, Eddie, woohoo! Yay! You can hear me. Thank you, Eddie. He always helps me set all this up. So, give him a follow. He will be on streaming right after I'm done. So, or actually towards the end. So, we will be rating my husband, Ed. Plus, I call him Eddie. You can call him whatever. Um, maybe raise the camera a bit. When you yeah. Yeah. I will. Maybe I'll just scoot back. I can do that too. Um, let me move this up a little bit. For you guys. I don't know if I can move this thing up, up. I can maybe do that. Let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, sweet. Thank you so much. All you need today is one heavy weight and then two medium weights. So my heavy weight that I'll use is gonna be a 20 and that's gonna be for my underhand grip rows. And then the rest will be chest press. There will be some flies. So anytime you do a fly motion, your arms are longer. It's a longer lever, which means it's gonna be more difficult, okay? The more your arms are bent, the easier it is, okay? So I might even grab some like sixes for the back fly, just because it's gonna be a full 45 seconds of movement, 15 second break but that just gives us enough time to transition to the next move. So if you're familiar with these workouts, you're gonna get familiar. And if you wanna screenshot this, I'll give you about five seconds to screenshot our chest and back workout. So if you ever wanna repeat it, you definitely can. All right, so chest first, chest presses, and then we'll do two back exercises. And we'll do, again, two sets of those three moves before we move on to our next circuit. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Thanks for being here. And let's get started. All right. So come on back to your mat. We're just going to open up those arms. Swing those arms. I don't know about you, but I'm a little sore, I think, from Tuesday's workout, which was biceps, triceps. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then Monday was legs. But Wednesday was nice. We got some core in. We got some mobility, so it wasn't too crazy. So, thanks again for being here. Big arm circles, open it up. More like a hugger. Hug those arms. All right, now give me arm circles, hands out. Give me those circles. Just wanna warm up those joints. Wanna hit that beat. Make it fun, right? If you wanna play your own music, blare it, and then just listen to me for the cues. All right, take it backwards. Big arm circles. Nice job. You got it. And while you're doing this, might as well warm up your legs a little bit. Lift those knees up. Keep your core tight. Tomorrow will be a full body boot camp. So we will be doing a little bit of everything to end the work. Week really strong. Really, really feeling good, right? Nice job. All right. Go ahead and go side to side. Swing the elbow wide. And as you notice, I'm picking up that heel so I don't hurt the knee because I am twisting the body. So you want to make sure that you're lifting that back leg so you don't hurt the knee. Nice job. You got this. Thanks again for deciding to show up. Usually the beginning of the week is your strongest. Towards the end of the week, you probably don't want to do it because you're a little sore. You probably feel a little burnt out from your work week. I get it. The way you show up today is going to be the way you show up in life, okay? So trust the process. All right, we're going to stretch the sides a little bit. Big stretch. Let's take it to the other side. Nice job. Knees are still soft. Tailbone tucked under slightly. Just stretching the obliques. A little bit of your lats because we will be working them. Nice job. Should feel good. Nice job. A couple more. Each side. One more. Each side. Good job. Perfect. Nice work. Okay, I'm gonna start the clock. It's gonna give us one minute. I will explain these moves and then I'll ask you to start. So 
So chest press first, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and grab my medium weight. This is gonna be chest presses. So if you're ready, I'm ready. What it looks like is heels down on the ground, bring them up close to your butt. Line up those arms to make a letter L with your arms, okay? So it should go straight out from your shoulders. Elbow is directly underneath your wrist and you're gonna chest press straight up. Try not to lock your elbow. Keep a little bit of a slight bend and try to just go straight down and straight up. Act like you're holding a bar so that way you're not coming in and then out. I just want you here with a slight bend at the top and then bring it down so your elbows almost touch. If you have any shoulder injuries, lighter weights and do more of a tricep push so your elbows go down further down here okay either way your elbows are still stacked underneath your wrist ready let's go ahead and start it 45 seconds up and down nice and controlled nice and slow warming up the upper body still we're not cranking out push-ups just yet just getting that chest warmed up remember shoulders are dropped you got this nice work thanks for showing up today I always like working out with friends. Helps me stay on track. And I said this earlier, I'm not necessarily following a program anymore. I'm instead teaching it alongside doing it with you, okay? So this is all I'm doing as far as my strength training and mobility goes. I do cardio when I teach classes. All right, stop right there. So if you do cardio other days, like go for a walk, go for a swim, jog, bike, take a fitness class, whatever. You can always do that and then this could be a little bit of a bonus workout. Okay, turn it around, single arm row. Now I'm gonna pick up my heavier weight and I'm gonna step back and just row it up, okay? So this, if this is your left arm, place your right hand on your right knee and pull that left arm up, squeeze your back. I don't necessarily count reps because I like to work from a timer. So just try to go up the same speed that you go down on both sides. Notice how my back is flat. Hips are square. You can always step up a little bit and put that hand down to really support that back. And I'm doing just a slight twist and just squeezing at the top of this shoulder blade. Four seconds. Give me one more. Nice job. Stand it up. Ooh, felt that one. Go ahead and switch that arm, switch that leg. I'm gonna just turn to the side so you see it. Actually, I'll stay here so you see this variation. Hand on the side, ready? Set and go. Go it up. Take it down. Nice job. Notice how the back is flat. Support your weight. Hand on the thigh. Keep that core tight. Straight up and back down. Thanks again for being here. From the front. Shoulders are still square. Again, from the side. Flexing. So you're actually getting a good, a good bicep workout too, because it's an underhand grip. And your upper back is doing a lot of the work here. Your back is a strong muscle group. So that's why we're able to lift a little heavier on this. But listen to your body. If this is your first time working out with me, I do not expect you to lift a 20. You can start with a five, okay? Focus on your form first. All right, going back down, guess what? We are halfway through that first circuit. Grab your lighter weights. Back to that chest press. Repeating from the top, here we go. Up and down. Remember, go at your own pace. If you wanna go a little faster, maybe add heavier weights, okay? This is the fastest you should go. But I really want you to focus on your form. Tuck your tailbone under, keep your low abs pulled in. Notice how my hips are under, okay? That's gonna help support your back. Woo! So you're not using any momentum. You got this up and down. Up and down. Nice job. Notice how it's soft. Elbow at the top of that movement. Shoulders dropped. Elbows come wide. And stop right there. Bring your elbows in. Roll it up, transition to that row. Pick up your weight with a flat back, core tight. You ready for it? Let's lean forward. Place the left hand on the left knee. 
the right hand on the right knee and row with your other hand. So the arm of the leg that you're holding, you can even take it further back, get a little bit of a glute workout in there. You got a balance. Woo! Nice job. We got this baby. We are doing hard things. We are showing up because we are worthy to feel good, to do something good for ourselves. These workouts are no impact, no cardio. I mean, your heart rate's probably gonna get up because we keep moving, but we don't hurt the joints. We strengthen the muscles. Stop right there. Woo! Switch hands. Big step back. Place the hand on the knee for support. Keep your core tight. You don't have to hyperextend your back. I want you to tuck your tailbone just slightly. Keep a flat back. Ready, set, row. Up and down. Nice job. How we doing? If you're not chatting, it probably means you're working. So good job. Woo! We'll take a break here after this move for about a minute. So you can type in the chat if you want. Let me know how you're feeling after this move is done in 20 seconds. It'll be a good time to get a little bit of a water break or pre-workout. I always mix my pre-workout with my hydrate drink. Woo! How are those arms? Holy back. And core tight, stand up straight. Put it down with a flat back. We did it. Great work, we're still on. Circuit one is done. Okay. I can't spell work. Well, you know me by now. I don't smell, I don't smell. I don't spell a lot of things right. <laughs> Autocorrect, what are you gonna do? All right, ready for circuit number two? Here we are, chest fly. I am gonna go back to my 12. If you feel this in your shoulders at all, go lighter weight. If you still feel it, bend here, okay? Second move, tabletop fly. I don't know if I told you, but I'm going to take down my weight to maybe threes or even sixes on that table fly. So it looks like this, one arm at a time, but we're gonna be in a tabletop position. I'll show you when we get to it. In the meantime, let's go ahead and set it up back to our chest press position. This time, your palms face in. Set it up with me. Ready? Shoulders drop, fly, take it out wide, and then take it back up. Nice job, nice and slow. One, two, back up, three, four. Down, down, up, and up. If you want to, you can always bend your elbows even more. Palms face in. Woo! Shoulders dropped. Act like you're drawing a big circle around your body and you're meeting right above the chest. A lot of times I see people do this. Do not bring it over your head, okay? If it was to fall, it should fall. The weights would fall on your chest, okay? Keep going. Down, down, up. As you can see, my elbows just hover. How about one more, just for fun? Nice job. Bring it in, elbows in, roll it up. Grab a lighter weight. I'm just gonna flip it around to show you. Join me now, you're in a tabletop position. Knees underneath your hips. You're gonna bring one arm up and out. I like to go either up on a weight or up on my fist, so I've got a little bit more space. Up and down. Squeeze, slow, slow, slow. So notice it's fast and then slow on the way down. Woo! Can you hear that okay? My hair sometimes gets in the way. Lift, lower. Lower, lower, lift. Slow on the way down. That's right, working it. Up, slow, slow, and up. Slow, slow, up, slow. Woo! Can you feel that in your upper back? Keep your core tight. Up, I'm gonna go to my fist instead. Last one. Nice job. Shake it out. We're gonna go to the other arm. Same idea. Hand underneath your chest or shoulders. Or you can always come up onto that weight. Switch that hand, so fly on the other side. Ready? Here we go up, 
down, down, up, slow, slow. Head and spine is neutral. Core is tight. Lift. We're going to add on to this move, the second set, okay? But for now, I just want you to get this move down. Do it again. Lift. Lower. 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 Squeeze the shoulder blade at the top of this. Woo! I don't know about you, but I'm starting to shake. Especially on that way down. We want to defy gravity. Don't let it swing. Slow, 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 and squeeze. And stop right there. Woo! Nice job. We only have enough time to set it up. Repeat that chest fly with me. Drop those weights. Roll it down. Heels close to the butt. Thumbs overhead. Five seconds. And one. Here we go. Take it wide. And then bring it back up. How are those arms feeling? Holy chest. Holy back. If it's too much for that fly, you can always bend the elbows more at an angle, okay? That's your ob your option to modify. Otherwise, it's a wide and back up. I'm gonna do a variation because holy arms, Batman! Woo! Keep that core tight. Remember, low abs fold in, back is flat to the floor. Three seconds. You can do anything for three more seconds. All right, elbows in. Use momentum. Roll it up if you need it. Flip it around. Going back to that fly, but it's a back fly in a bridge position. Knees underneath your hips, hand underneath your chest, other hands hold the weight. Here we go. Fly. Now I said I'd add on to this. So if the weight is in your left hand, I want your right leg behind you. Okay? If you want to make this a little bit harder, try to keep that leg lifted. What? There's always options. This is working core and a lot of different stabilizer muscles in the back. Because keeping that leg up is working the entire kinetic chain. Woo! Nice job. Head and spine is neutral. Shoulders away from your ears. Are you breathing? Even your shoulders are gonna feel this a little bit. And stop right there. Oh, good work. Let's switch that hand and switch that leg. So if it's in the right arm, then your left leg goes behind you, okay? Keep that core tight. Remember, you can always come back here, toe touch or toe hold. Here we go. Lift, lower, lower, lift, lower, lower, lift. Head and spine is neutral. I'm holding on to these weights. Squeeze. That is why I'm using just six pounds on this, okay? Don't try to lift heavy and have bad form. I'd rather you put your weight in half, drop it down, and have great form. You can do hard things, and you can do them even better. You let your ego go, and you focus on the move. Woo! That's how I had to drop my leg, right? I was feeling it too much, and I started to sacrifice form. Guess what? Second circuit done. Hey, babe. All right, what do we got? Sorry, my coach. No worries, Tim. Thanks for saying hi. I appreciate it. All right, you got a one minute break. So second circuit is done. We're gonna go to our third circuit, okay? We don't mess around. We came here to get some ish done, right? Dance break, if you want? Uh, 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 uh. All right, third set. We've got, I'm gonna turn it up for me a little bit. We've got push ups. Save the best for last. More like the worst for last, right? All right, go ahead and move those weights. We're done with them, baby. I'm gonna show you a couple variations. If you wanna stay on your knees for this, you can roll your mat a few times. You can always do this on a bench, a chair, or even the wall. Now, make a straight line. I want your hands not in line with your shoulders. I want them a little lower than that. So your shoulders are almost in line with your fingertips, okay? Now, take those fingertips out towards the edge of the mat. 
Ready? Squeeze your butt. Core tight. Push up. We go down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Does that sound like a Mario game? It does to me. Now, are those elbows in line with your wrists as you come down? If you're like Sarah, my wrists are killing me. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Give me some fists. Okay? Down for two. Go your own pace. If you need to slow down, do it. Core tight. Feel more of a challenge? Up on those toes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did one rep and I'm like, nope. Maybe if this was the first circuit, right? What is this towards the end? Where my arms are shot, baby. <laughs> and stop right there. Nice job. We're going to lay it down flat. As we do a push-up, I want you all the way down. Chest first, though. Chest first, chest first. There we go. Now release it. These are called IXI extensions. So your uh, arms are going to come up. The singular I. T, or I, T, I. I, T, I. And then back down. Do it again. That's an X. I'm at T. I. Letter T. Letter I. And drop. Now notice how the tailbone is tucked. Toes on the floor. Do it again. I. T. I. And drop. Do it again. I. Letter T. Letter I. Drop. Toes stay on the floor. Okay, we're not trying to put our low back. Our glutes involved. That takes away from our low back doing the work. The butt's always like, I can help though. And that's what happens with this. I don't want you doing that. One more time. We're trying to just work the back. Nice job. Core tight, lift up, shoulders dropped. Table under. Proper form. Love it. All right, knees underneath your hips. Bird dog. We did this in the second circuit. Remember how we did this? Now I want your arm up and opposite leg and then bring it back down. Switch. Keeping that core tight. This one should feel good, right? We're moving slow, almost like a break, but focusing on that form, elongating that body. You do not have to go very high with this. So I'm stopping right before my foot or my hand goes above my head. Do it again. Imagine that wall from toe to fingertip is just outward, outside of reach and you're trying to reach it for it. Reach for it, elongating that body. Shoulders away from your ears. Last one. Nice job. Good work. All right, let's set it up again for those push-ups. Walk it out. Now I always like to get in the proper position by holding a plank just for one second. Okay, core tight. Are your hands underneath your chest? Now drop to your knees. Now take those hands out slightly and propel your body weight forward. Give me a push up. Down and back up. Notice how the shoulders are away from my ears and I'm only bending the elbows. Okay, squeeze your butt, squeeze your core. Everything else is locked in. The only thing that moves should be your elbows. And your elbows are going slightly back, but they're in line. Look, they're in line with your wrists. Head and spine is neutral. And I say that because I see a lot of this going on. None of that, okay? Keep your head up. Woo! Keep that core tight. Look about, I don't know, six to eight inches in front of your head. And stretch it out. Nice job. Lay it down. ITI. Remember, toes dig in. Tailbone under, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your low abs. Ready? Letter I first. Here we go. I, T, I, and down. Do it again. Letter I, letter T, letter I. If this is too fast, slow it down. Do what works for you. Your chin is slightly tucked. Do not look in front of you. Just listen to my cues. Lift, T, letter I, and drop. Letter I, T, I, keep going. It's 45 seconds of work. You're almost there. We got 12 seconds left. I'm so proud of you. After this, we have one move left and then we're done. Can you believe it? That's what I love about these workouts. 21 minutes and we're done. All right, stretch back. Child's pose just for a second. And then stack it. Hands underneath your shoulders. Knees underneath your hips. Pull your abs in. Where's your chin? Lift it slightly. Shoulders away from your ears. Left arm, right leg. Lift it up. Bird dog. 
and then bring it in. Bird dog, and then bring it in. Nice job. Lift, squeeze that booty as you do it. So elongate the leg, elongate the arm. Now imagine you've got maybe a water bottle, keep going, on your low back. You don't want it to fall off. This is a good way to see if you have core control here. Woo. Every now and then, you can even try it. I feel like the water is going side to side. So I gotta slow it down. I gotta focus on my core a little bit more. What do you think, one more time? Hey, guess what? We did it! Hallelujah! Cheers. I've still got all this left. We're done, baby! All right. Take a little break. As in, take a break because you're done. All right, let's go ahead and stretch that chest out, the back out. So proud of you guys. Yay! Clemens, Clemson Mech, Mech, thanks for joining. All right, let's see. We are stretching it out. So upper back and chest, okay? So let's start with that chest first. Take those hands behind, open up your chest here. So from the side, shoulders back and down, knees soft. From the back, if you're here, or clasp those hands together, pull it back and down, shoulders down, reach those knuckles down. Woo! Nice job. Knees still soft. We never want to lock out the joints. Except for the stretch. You can do it here. <laughs> Just keep your knees soft. Thanks again for joining me. Fast and furious. That's how it goes. That's how we get the results we want in less time. So thanks again for being here. All right. Take it up. Take it out. Another stretch. This is great for your neck, too, because a lot of times we tend to hunch throughout the day, so I want to include this. Take your, sorry, your left hand, your right hand, and you're gonna hold that. So you see it here, I'll do it with you. So take that right hand, pull it over, and you're just gonna hold that hand here, or drop, and you're just gonna take your head to the left side, okay? So you're gonna feel this all throughout the left side, and tilt your head, chin fit is up slightly. Stay with me on it. I'll do it from the front. Nice job today. Woo! Do you feel that pull throughout the neck? Can you tilt your chin slightly up? Not too much that you hurt yourself, okay? Sign a liability, right? You will not hold Sarah liable because this is free. <laughs> nice job. All right. Let's take the head back up and just roll your shoulders. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Take your left arm over to the side. Shoulders dropped, right ear to right shoulder. <sighs> all these sounds, 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 all, the, all of these songs sound like video games. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is perfect for Twitch then, right? Chin is slightly up. Yup, yup, get it. You know me, I can't help it. If I feel a beat. I gotta dance it out. I have to choreograph this. All right, nice job. All right, shake it out. Last stretch, third stretch. Take those fingertips, round your shoulders. So remember how I'm always like, don't round your back. Round your back, you can do it. Drop your chin, tailbone under. Now feel that pull in your upper back. Shoulders are really separating here. Feel the pull. On your next inhale, take it up, inhale. And exhale, elbows wide, take it back. Yup, nice job. Let's do that one more time. Really separate those shoulders, drop your chin. Oh man, I went to Mexico and my tan is peeling off. Just on one side. <laughs> take a big inhale up, big exhale. You did it, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for joining me today. It's a perfect fit. Love it. Thank you guys. Thanks for being here. I will see you tomorrow for Friday's workout. So if you remember, Monday's leg day, 
Tuesdays, BTS, biceps, triceps, shoulders, or arms. Wednesday, I know you're sore, but show up anyway because it's core and mobility. So you stretch it all out. I know I felt great after doing yesterday's workout. And then we hit it hard again with chest and back. Fridays, full body boot camp for Fridays. So if you like this, please like and follow. <laughs> and if you want to share these workouts with a friend, tell them to come follow because I will be offering these workouts this week and next week. And then the following week, I, I believe it's just on Monday, maybe Tuesday too, but I will then be gone for two weeks visiting family in Spain. I'm so excited. I've never been to Spain. Um, but then when I come back, we will have a full schedule after I get back the 29th or 30th, I get back. So that first Monday of the following week, or is that the 31st? I don't know. Just keep an eye on the schedule. I love you guys. And I will talk to you all later. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining. I'll see you guys later. Thanks, Tim.